the 1918 baseball season. It was a season that was shortened due to World War I. So games ended up being all over the place. During the season, uh, on March 21st, the Red Sox and the Robins, Brooklyn Robins, plays an exhibition game at the Army Cantonment at Camp Pike, Arkansas. April 18th, Tris Speaker of Boston turns two turns an unassisted double play against Detroit. On April 29th, he does it again against Chicago, the White Sox. August 1st, Pittsburgh and Boston Boston Braves went a record 20 scoreless innings before Pittsburgh scores two in the top of the 21st. Art Neff went the distance for Boston in the loss. Pittsburgh won two to nothing. August 30th, Carl Mays pitches both both ends of a double header for the Red Sox. No, he pitches two complete games for the Red Sox in both ends of a double header against Philadelphia. The Red Sox won 12 nothing and 4 1 in both those games. Now that's crazy. Eight, 18 innings in the same day in two games. That's impressive. I wonder how sore his arm was after, bo after both games. September 2nd, regular season ends between the a American League and the National League, the Secretary of War, and General Andy Crowder due to World War II raging. September 5th, during the first... In the, during the seventh inning stretch at the first game of the World Series, the Star Spangled Banner was played for the first time. And eventually, as we know, it becomes a it becomes a staple at the beginning of the game, and it gets replaced with. Oh, I'm drawing up like "Take Me Out to the Ball Game." Anyways, season stats, American League. Ty Cobb of Detroit he finishes the season with a 382 average. Babe Ruth and Tilly Walker, Babe Ruth of Boston and Tilly Walker of Philadelphia, each hit 11 home runs. Leads the league. Bobby Veach of Detroit finishes atop the American League and the Majors with 78 RBIs. And Walter Johnson pulls off the American League pitching triple crown. And he leads the league with 23 wins, a 1.27 ERA, and 162 strikeouts for Washington. American League, American League no, National League, not American League, National League this time. Zach Weig, I forgot to put down his, who he played with. Finishes the season with a 335 average. Gravy Kravath of, I think, Philadelphia. Finishes the season with 8 RBI, 8 home runs. And Sherry McGee finishes the season with 71 RBIs. In the National League, Hippo Vaughn pulls off what Walter Johnson is, did. The National League Triple Crown. He, he gets 22 wins for Chicago, pitches a 1.74 ERA, and has 148 strikeouts. Standings. Boston finishes first in the American League with 75 wins, 51 losses. Cleveland was second at 73 and 54, two and a half games back. Washington finishes third at 72 and 56, four back. Then it's the Yankees at 60 and 63, 13 and a half back. St. Louis at 58 and 64, 15 back. White Sox, 57 and 67, 17 back. Detroit, 55 and 71, 20 back. Philadelphia, 52 and 76, 24 back. National League, Cubs, 84 and 45, first, the first there. New York Giants, 71 and 53, 10 and a half back. Cincinnati, 68 and 60, 15 and a half back. Pittsburgh, 65 and 60, 17 back. 
Brooklyn, 70, 57 and 69, 25 and a half back. Philadelphia, 55 and 68, 26 back. Braves, 53 and 71, 28 and a half back. And St. Louis, 51 and 78, 33 back. Now, World Series. Game 1 on, on September 5th in Chicago. Boston 1, Chicago nothing. Game 2, September 6th Chicago, in Chicago. The Cubs even it with a 3-1 win. Game 3 in Chicago on September 7th. Boston 2, Chicago 1. Chicago's home games were at Comiskey Park, not Wrigley Field. Game 4, September 9th in Boston. Red Sox win 3-2. September 10th, game 5, Chicago wins 3 to nothing in Boston. And September 11th, game 6 in Boston. I think it was I think it was Fenway Park. If not Bracefield for Boston. Boston wins the World Series with a 2-1 win over Chicago and wins the World Series 4 games to 2. So that is it for 1918. Tomorrow, the 1919 season featuring the Black Sox scandal. Until then, stay tuned.